How much faith does it take to be a victorious Christian? Only enough to believe that God would never lie. A well-known theologian wants to find faith as the ultimate risk. That's being willing to follow God anywhere he leads, even though you don't perceive in advance where you're being led. Down through the ages of biblical history, we see this pattern over and over again where people of faith are called to trust God with no evidence of the future. Noah, for example, was called to build an ark in preparation for a flood. He was ridiculed and mocked for his apparent folly. Abraham was called to leave the grandeur of Ur of the Chaldeans and a position of respect among his fellow citizens, only to become a wandering nomad. Moses was called to challenge Pharaoh's authority and power on behalf of a trembling, grumbling Israel. David, no more than a mere child with a slingshot, was called to fight the mighty Philistine Goliath. The list goes on and on. Have you ever wondered where we would be if Joseph had not trusted God? The Mosaic law commanded death as a punishment for those committing adultery. That means that according to Israelite justice, Mary could have literally been stoned to death as her pregnancy was discovered. And through that death, the child conceived in her womb would never have been born. Where will others be if we do not trust God? On this final Sunday of Advent, let us walk with God, assured that our steps will lead to blessings. And in that walk, we will be a witness to the truth that Jesus Christ is the meaning of Christmas, that Jesus Christ is a Son of God and Savior of the world. Trust in God and know that He has done all things for us. Thank you.